Michigan, a key battleground state with just days left until November 3rd. President Trump will be campaigning today in Waterford Township at 1 p.m. before heading to Wisconsin. And as you mentioned, we are expecting more details later on today about Joe Biden's Joe Biden's return to Michigan tomorrow alongside former President Barack Obama. The purpose of the visits are to ramp up enthusiasm and to make sure that people who already support the candidates show up. Today, President Trump visits the Oakland County International Airport in Waterford Township. He and challenger Joe Biden also campaigned in Florida this week, another key swing state. The president touting new GDP numbers. They say talk about your economic success. Talk about 33.1%, the greatest in history. Biden's messaging centering on the struggles of more record unemployment and surges in COVID cases around the country. Millions of people out there are out of work, on the edge, can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, and Donald Trump has given up. President Trump, no stranger to sparring with our state's current governor, taking aim at previous Governor Rick Snyder via Twitter, calling him a Republican in name only after Snyder, a Republican, announcing on Fox he's already voted outside his party. And we shouldn't let partisanship get in the way of good decision making for our country. And Joe Biden's a much better decision than Donald Trump. Michigan looks fairly good for Biden, I would say. Um, you know, that was the case in 2016 also with Clinton. So I think everybody's being a little bit more cautious about their confidence in polls. Now, with many eyes on Michigan as one of those key swing states, 2.1 million absentee ballots here have already been returned. Another million have been requested, and we are on track to have voter participation levels here that we haven't seen since 2008. Again, President Trump speaking today at 1 p.m. That will be live streamed both on our Facebook page and WXYZ.com. And stay tuned for further details on Joe Biden's return to Michigan tomorrow alongside former President Barack Obama. Reporting live this morning in downtown Detroit, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News.